Hello, everybody. I am back with a large food haul. I wanted to go over our menu, and I haven't gotten it written down yet. Um, some of the one night we're going to have chicken fried steak, another pasta and salad, another which is creamy chicken and baked potato, ham and cheese sliders, baked tacos, meatloaf. We also have um, sausage for a one pot meal. So I've got all the cold stuff here and all of the non cold stuff over there. So I got two packages of the lean ground beef and one of them um, is for pasta I believe. Maybe. I'm not sure. And one of them, oh we also have a meatloaf written down so the large ones for meatloaf and then we have this one just as extra. For the night, we have the chicken fried steak. I got two of these cube steaks, and my husband loves that meal, and I just decided I'd make it again for him. Um, for the one-pot sausage and potato and green bean meal, um, I got some of the Hillshire Farm Kabaska. I got, well, Scott picked out two thin steaks for the day he's off work. He wants those for lunch. Then... We got some pizzas um, because I was going to make some, but I just didn't get to it. Scott picked out the DiGiorno, the three meat, pepperoni, sausage, and beef. And I picked out Betsy's Re Revenge Screaming Sicilian um, Cheese Pizza. So this has Wisconsin fresh mozzarella, which is this cheese. It's got um, Parmesan and Romaine and Romano and white cheddar and I thought I'm a sucker for packaging you guys and that packaging totally stood out Scott picked up these little fish fillets for Zane because he loves them and I got me one of the stopers of course the roast turkey breast and the turkey tetrazzini um, we got some eggs of course because we're always needing eggs we got a large package of chicken breast I got some cuties. I also got this ambrosia apple, and um, these are really good and um, delicious. And we are kind of running low on fruits and vegetables. I got some cheese and two different kinds. I love these little mild cheddars from Lando Lakes. I also got some of the Sun Drops little tomatoes because tomatoes just look awful. I got some prosciutto. One of my favorite, favorite things of all time are these little wraps. For the pasta meal, I got some shrimp that we can put into it. These are peeled, deveined, and they have the tails off already. I got some organic carrots, some sweet peas, some frozen corn. I got some potato salad from the deli, and I also got some of the Virginia ham, and this is for the ham and cheese sliders. We're also going to have one night. And also, for the ham and cheese sliders, we will have some of the provolone on top because I'm not a Swiss cheese person. We got some grapes that were extremely overpriced, but we got some. Got some broccoli that we needed, and I also got some romaine lettuce for salads and such. Jackson requested toaster strudels. Zane requested Eggo waffles. So I got both of those. We got some sour cream and some milk. So that will hold us over with leftovers for probably well over a week, probably going on the two weeks. Now let's go over to the dry step. Okay, so over here is a hodgepodge of different things. We can start in the back. I got some Mountain Dew and one two liter of, pep of Dr. Pepper for the boys. One two liter for two boys for one week. If they go through it, they don't get any more. I got a large, and I did go to Walmart. I got a large um, thing of chips. I got three Gatorades. I also got these sweet, um, spicy chili Doritos. Zane absolutely loves those. I got some potatoes, and those should have been over on the other counter, but I was kind of in a hurry. I got some sugar. Jackson loves these breakfast essentials, so I got those for him. These were like on sale, and these are the Nutrigrain Blueberry Bliss bars, so I thought we might try them. Got some of our favorite coffee. Love this coffee. I got two boxes of mac and cheese. These, This is the Annie's mac and cheese, so I got that. I got two um, jars of the Wild Oats Organic Roasted Garlic Pasta Sauce, which is really good. 
And then I saw the Sunkiss Trail Mix, the Breakfast es um, Espresso, and Granola Blend. And I thought, hey, why not give it a shot? Maybe after walking on the treadmill or something, that will be good. The kids love ramen noodles, so I only picked up four. I picked up two chicken and two of the Oriental flavors. I got Cooper five cans of dog food, and I had a coupon for the pedigree, so that's what we went with with him. Got a big thing of water, which I do expect the kids and I to drink a lot of. I got some more of these baby Dutch potatoes, and they're amazing to cook with because they cook up really fast. Got Zane and Jackson for these mac and cheeses, and after school sometimes they really love those. I needed some more brown sugar, so I got some. And I got two boxes of the angel hair for the night. We have the pasta. Bread-wise, I got some bagels. These are blueberry for the boys' breakfast. I got some more slider buns for the ham and cheese sliders. And I also got another of the Nature's Own White Wheat Breads. Um, Zane requested Pop-Tarts and grits, so I got both of those. And I actually seen a recipe for homemade Pop-Tarts, and I seriously am thinking about making it. I got 10 shells of the old El Paso stand and stuff for baked tacos. They only had one box, so I got one box and one kit, just to make sure I had enough shells. Also, I'm going to make a dessert in the pressure cooker, and Scott picked out the Caramel Apple Comstock Fruit Filling. So we have two of those. For the night of baked tacos, we have some refried beans. I love the Chef Boro D mini raviolis. I know it's not healthy, but don't care. Um, every once in a while, I like to have those. We got a big can of the seasoned green beans. We also got the very cherry um, with no sugar added, the Del Monte fruit. And every once in a while, I like those to go with dinner. I got some caramel to drizzle over that dessert um, whenever we make it, so I got that. I got this mayonnaise because um, it's just mayo, and I was reading it, and I was so interested in trying it, so we got it, and it, again, was in Walmart. We got some chicken stock. We also got the thick and hearty A1. I'm a sucker for A1, you guys. I absolutely love A1. And I think, besides a roll of, or a couple rows of paper towels, that is it. And again, we stayed somewhere, I want to say around $230, which was pretty close to our budget. We, um, we knew we were going to spend a couple hundred, but we didn't want to go too far over. But we did good. I feel like we got everything we needed and then some. We stayed within budget. I used quite a few coupons just to save money. Um, I had a coupon for my coffee. Um, I had a coupon for these. Um, I had a coupon for the breakfast essentials. I mean, you know, we are a family with teenage boys. They do eat a lot. And while I am thinking about switching up our diet to a more plant-based and lean meats, we're not quite there yet, as you can see. But I definitely am trying to save money. I would have went to Aldi's today, but or Aldi, but my husband didn't feel like going to two stores, and I knew I wouldn't be able to get everything at one store. So that is our Walmart haul, and we have a Walmart close to us. That's why we use it. I'm going to use the savings catcher here in just a little bit and see if I can save even more money, which I love. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. I know there's been three videos in two days with this one included. Hope that's okay. Um, but I wanted to make sure I got the food haul up and all of that before our weekly vlog on Monday. And I will be, you know, going back to the store for little things off and on. Hopefully this will keep us fed for a little while. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to click on my name and get subscribed. I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching.